Earlier in the course, I talked about how you can animate text. That is, you can animate text on a per character or per word basis. You did that animation with 2D text in a 2D space. But now that we've ventured into the third dimension, let's talk about animating 2D text in a 3D space. To follow along, go to Working Files, After Effects Projects, and open up 1703 Text 3D Space. All right, we've got this blank slate to which we're going to add some text and then animate it. And then we've got this comp over here, and I'm going to use this comp to show you what you can do with lights. I want to animate some text in 3D and throw some lights on it. And the reason I'm doing this is that 3D text sometimes doesn't really look like it's 3D. It could very well be 2D text in terms of how it's animated. But if you put lights on it, it tends to really give it a 3D feel. And so I'm going to show you what lights can do. And we're going to talk about lights a little bit later in the course. So we'll go back here to Comp 1 and type in some text. So click on the Type tool and type in some text. I'm going to go 2D text in a 3D space, like so. Click away, and we'll just kind of set it up a little bit. Now before we start animating this text, I want to show you some 3D text animation presets. So go to Effects and Presets, click on that, click on the Panel menu, and then click on Browse Presets. That opens up Bridge. Go to Text and then go to 3D text. And these are the various presets, and to get a little feel for how they work, just click on one and take a look. The one thing that really does give 3D text a 3D feel is that you can rotate it on the X and the Y axis. Now you know when you rotate a 2D layer, you're taking the XY plane and rotating it on what essentially is the Z axis at a point inside that plane. Well, now you can rotate it on the X and Y axis. So notice how you can flip things up like that on the X axis. Let's take a look at a couple other things here. Here we can spin things in on the X axis. Can you see them flying in from off in a distance like that? There we go. Similarly like that, it does have a sort of a 3D feel to it, but that rotation on the X and the Y axis, that really does emphasize it. Here's a nice 3D feel with a little randomness. Another rotation there. That one on the y-axis on a per-word basis. All right, you know if you select a text string inside your comp and then double-click on one of these guys, it automatically will add this animation preset to that text. But we're not going to do that. We're going to do it manually. So let's close down Bridge here and go back to After Effects. All right, we want to animate this 2D text in 3D space. And what you need to do is you need to switch that on. Now, we've talked about switching on this little 3D box here to make a layer 3D, but that's not really how you do it with text. We can make this a 3D layer, and the whole layer will behave as if it's in 3D space. But we want to turn on per character 3D animation. And the way you do that is you go on down to the Animate menu, right down here next to Text. Click on the Animate Flyout line there. And at the top, it says Enable Per Character 3D. That's the cool thing. Now you need to add some things that you want to animate. So go down here again and click on the things that you want to add. So we'll animate, let's say, position. And now we're going to add some things, not animate. Now we're going to add them because we don't want to add another animator. So we add, let's say, property, and we're going to add O scale. Add another one, let's say, rotation. There we go. And add the good old favorite opacity. I've got all these things. Notice, of course, they've got X, Y, and Z values now. We've got three different kinds of rotations. The cool one for me is Y and X. Let's look at the Y rotation. It's on a per character basis. You rotate everything individually like that. There you go. And the X lets things dip right over like so. You can change the anchor point so it doesn't have to be at the bottom of the text, but I think that looks pretty cool. So let's just do that. I want to have the text be tipped over like this. I want to rotate it a bit on the Y axis like so. There we go. And that's how we're going to animate it in. Let's change the position too. I want to bring it, let's say, toward the camera. So to go toward the camera, that's a negative value. So I'm going to take the Z value and pull it toward the camera like that. Okay. And let's just keep the opacity at 100% now, but we'll drop it later. If we change the scale now, sort of like why bother changing the scale? Well, that kind of makes it a little taller like that. So let's change the scale like that just to make it bigger. Sometimes you might think if we're moving it to the camera, why bother with scale? But you can also see that changing scale also has a dramatic effect as well. Now we need to adjust the range selector. So I'll click the range selector here. I'm going to set the keyframe just for the start. It makes it pretty simple. So I'll go to the start, set keyframe at zero, and go out a little ways. And we'll set the keyframe here at 100%. So you can see it kind of animating on. So it's going to animate on like this. 
like that. You might want to have it animate from a little bit higher on the screen. So go down here, we'll take the Y value for the position and pull it up like so, perhaps. There we go, try that again. It's coming from a little bit higher spot, like that. So if you've worked with the text animation, you know how this works. Basically, you decide how you want things to be when they're inside the range, and then you adjust the range here, you keyframe the range. And so the stuff here off to the left is not in the range anymore, the stuff to the right is inside the range, and also being affected by all those property value changes. One thing you might want to do when you're working with text in a 3D space and flying it in like that is you might want to then turn on this motion blur like that. If you turn on motion blur, then you can turn this on for the entire comp. And then when it comes in, it'll come in kind of a blur look, look like that. Really cool as it comes in. You also might want to drop the opacity before you let it come in as well. because That makes it a little more dramatic. So we'll drop the opacity a little bit here so you can see it at work. There you go. Very cool. Okay, so I think you can see how we animate text in a 3D space. Let me show you how it looks with lights. I'm going to go over here. I set this comp up already. We're going to talk about lights a little bit later in the course. Let me just show you what we got here. We've got two lights. One's a spotlight, one's a point light. Let's change the view here from active camera to custom view. You can see we've got this light here and that light there. And you can see the text coming in and see how the spotlight moves across the stage there. But this point light just gives a little bit of illumination after the spotlight passes by. Let's go back to the active camera view and see how this works. I'll just scroll across there. So now you see when you've got this text coming in, it's actually coming out of the background. It's coming through the back there like that. Now when you've got this with the light, it definitely makes it look more 3D as you've got a drop shadow falling on that background there. So that is how you animate 2D text in a 3D space.